see how short these colors are. It's even difficult to hold them. My competition is in front of me and just see the quality of these. Is this how I will win this competition? My friends make fun of me at the school. Sorry Sharja, but you would have to use those colors. Don't expect a new one at this time at least. I am not going with it. Okay? Can't to buy me a packet? Just one packet? Shalja? Shalja, what is this behavior? Switch off the lights and fans at least. Shalja? I don't know when this girl will mature up. We have taken the colors red, orange and yellow. So we will melt them and we'll transform them into new colors. Hmm? Shalja, see the new colors. Wow, bhai. I could never think that we can use the colors in this way. Absolutely we can. Now, if we have thrown these crayons in the dustbin, they might have landed up in the landfills or unfortunately in the stomachs of innocent animals. So, but we prevented it by reusing these crayons. So, we rethink. We give it a second thought. And the key and the rethink is the key aspect here. And we did our part to preserve the environment. Bhai, so we can conclude that saving the environment must not be left on the government or NGOs. We, as a part of this ecosystem, share this responsibility. Now, Shalja, when you leave a room, you have to switch off the lights and fans, okay? Bhai! <laughs> prevented the pollution in our environment by using the waste in our homes. Hmm. So, can we call it kindness? Exactly. Kindness for the environment is not just confined to a Facebook post or an Instagram story. It's more about how much energy do you save at your home and how much less waste do you produce in, our, in your home. And this type of kindness is far more better than the social media posts. Understood? Hmm.